Meton liquid molding resin is a revolutionary new polymerization chemistry which was invented in the early 1980s as a new plastic material technology. Meton America is headquartered in Laporte, Texas. Meton Europe is an affiliate headquartered in Dusseldorf, Germany. The majority shareholder of Meton America is Sojitz Corporation. Sojitz is a Japanese trading company with 187 offices throughout the world. In Europe, Sojitz has offices in Dusseldorf, Paris, Madrid, Milan, Istanbul, and Warsaw. Other key Sojitz locations are Mumbai, India, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Beijing and Shanghai, China, Seoul, South Korea, and Bangkok, Thailand. Meton liquid molding resin parts are the result of a chemical reaction between component A and component B. The reaction injection molding, or REM process, is used to mix the A and B components and fill a closed mold. Unlike polyurethane molding systems, component A and B use the same monomer, which is DCPD or dicyclopentadiene. The main difference between A and B is the A component contains an activator and the B component contains a catalyst. When the A and B components are mixed, there is a very rapid polymerization process to create a plastic part. The chemical term for this polymerization process is Matthias's chemistry, which is a very rapid polymerization, and heat is evolved, so it is an exothermic polymerization. The viscosity of the A and B components are in the 300 centipoise range, which is similar to milk or water. This low viscosity also allows the use of low pressure rated molds and the ability to inject parts up to 13 square meters or parts weighing more than 100 kilograms. The injection pressure in the mold is in the 15 to 30 PSI range and molds are designed to withstand a maximum of 50 PSI cavity pressure. Prototype parts can be molded in composite or soft molds. Production molds are typically machined aluminum or nickel shell for Class A parts. Industrial parts with less severe surface quality are possible in cast aluminum molds. The injection time is typically in the 5 to 15 seconds range. The part is fully cured in one minute and the cycle time is in the 4 to 6 minute range. The parts require no post cure and mold release is normally not used. Meton America's headquarters is located in Laporte, Texas. Our headquarters is home for our management staff, application engineering, technical service, and production. We'll now briefly explain the different stages of application development through material production and quality control. At Meton America, we are dedicated to your success and strongly believe in the value of technical support. We offer engineering assistance in all stages of product design, as well as on-site and processing troubleshooting. New applications normally start within the design engineering organization with the OEM. Our application engineering support starts with this initial part design, which can evolve into sophisticated FEA analysis to ensure application performance. Next is mold design and we normally collaborate between the OEM, molder, and often the mold builder. In a new or startup molder situation, we can assist to define the new equipment specifications and necessary plant layout. When the first molds arrive, we can provide on-site technical service for startup. In addition, we provide molder training and routine technical service. The first step in the application development process is to consider Meton LMR's mechanical properties to competing material process options. This table was generated from customer parts produced from vacuum formed ABS, open spray FRP, and compression molded SMC. Meton LMR is lightweight with excellent impact down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Meton LMR's balanced mechanical properties 
allow part designs to meet the same part stiffness requirements as higher modulus materials and normally the Meton LMR parts are lighter weight. We evaluate part designs to check that proper Meton guidelines are followed for design features. We typically suggest modifications that optimize manufacturability as well. We will also assist the customer in mold design to ensure proper material flow to minimize processing issues. The low cavity pressure of Meton LMR allows the use of low pressure rated closed mold. Machined aluminum has become more popular with the availability of large billets. Nickel Shell is a long proven tooling technology for large Meton LMR parts. Composite molds are excellent for prototype parts because the molded parts will have the same mechanical properties as the parts from production metal molds. We also offer finite element analysis as part of our support philosophy to ensure designs are optimized and meet OEM's performance specifications. All of this assistance is free of charge. In addition to our excellent support staff, we provide a wealth of technical documents on subjects such as part design, mold design, post molding operations, and troubleshooting. We also have numerous technical bulletins which explain in more detail various aspects of the technology. At Meton America, we provide the highest quality, unprecedented technical support and unmatched experience in our industry. The first and last point of contact for raw materials and final product occurs at this loading and unloading station. To produce Meton LMR, we first receive raw DCPD in 5,000 gallon tankers as shown here. Our largest DCPD supplier is Maruzen Petrochemical Company located in Japan. Meton LMR production requires highly purified raw DCPD. After the tanks are in place, they are steam heated to melt the raw DCPD and prepared for transfer into large storage vessels. An additional component is added at this stage to lower the freezing point and ease material handling from this initial stage. The next stage of production is to transfer raw DCPD to rubber dissolving tanks. Rubber helps Meton LMR achieve its high impact properties. From this point, the material will be transferred to rubberized DCPD storage tanks to wait for use in the final mixing stage. Rubberized DCPD is then transferred to mixing vessels. At this stage, other proprietary components, such as activator or our patented catalyst system, are mixed into the rubberized DCPD to produce the final Meton LMR product. All transfer and mixing operations are controlled and monitored from a central computing station. All aspects of material production are managed and recorded from this control center. This ensures efficiency and accuracy of our production process. In our laboratory, we are equipped with a miniature rim injection machine and plaque mold. We can produce sample plaques in a thickness range from 3 to 10 millimeters in 1 millimeter increments. Temperature is an important factor in molding Meton LMR. Here, our laboratory personnel check the mold temperature before molding a plaque to ensure that proper quality data is gathered consistently. A thermocouple is embedded through the mold and into the plaque cavity. We collect temperature data from this thermocouple for quality control purposes. Once the plaque is ready, which is typically 30 to 60 seconds after injection, depending on thickness. It is removed from the mold and inspected to ensure a class A finish is achieved on the cavity side. These plaques can then be used to verify appropriate mechanical properties. The temperature data is recorded on a computer and plotted versus time. Here you will see the temperature drops as the cooler material contacts the thermocouple. There is an initial slow rise in temperature as the material begins the exothermic or heat generating polymerization process, followed by a rapid spike due to the highly exothermic nature of the reaction. The rapid spike requires that moles exhibit good heat transfer properties to quickly dissipate the heat generated by the reaction. In a production molding operation, 
the cycle time is dictated by the cooling capacity to remove the exothermic heat down to the operating temperatures. Aluminum has the highest heat transfer, so heat can be removed faster than nickel shell, steel, or composite molds. Tmax is a term we use to describe the speed of the exothermic reaction. It is defined as the time required for the material to reach its maximum exothermic temperature. We can easily customize this reaction speed based on a specific customer's need.